Hello and welcome to the Met Office forecast for the week ahead. Another winter week across the UK, another week of wind and rain. In fact, this week, the wind and rain is likely to bring disruption, particularly during the next couple of days as Storm Brendan blows through. But bear with me because there are very promising signs for a big change in the weather towards the weekend. This is what we're facing as we start off the week. Storm Brendan there, tight isobars, low pressure surrounding the UK, another low turning up for Tuesday. But if I show you the pressure chart for Saturday, you can see a significant change. L replaced by H, high pressure, drier, calmer, but also colder. Plenty to talk about before we get there. Not least of all, how much Storm Brendan deepened during Sunday. This is the first signs of Storm Brendan on our satellite, and you can see it turning into this deep swirl in the satellite imagery. And, uh, well, it's what we call a weather bomb. The isobars tightened up across this low center. The pressure dropped in its center by a significant amount in 24 hours. And now Storm Brendan is bearing down upon the UK, bringing wind and rain to all parts during the rest of Monday. Now, the windiest weather will clear through across England and Wales during Monday evening. But it's at this point that another swathe of potentially damaging gusts pushes into western Scotland. Monday evening, 80, possibly more in some of the most exposed spots in western Scotland and likely to bring some coastal impacts with big waves coming in this direction as well. Not only will the wind send big waves and a surge in the sea across Western Scotland, but it will also drag cold air across northern UK. And that means that by Tuesday morning, we'll wake up to snow over the Scottish higher ground. North of the central belt, above two or 300 metres, we're likely to see some heavy snowfall. And uh, that snow building up, six, possibly more centimetres of snow over the higher ground. Icy patches, even down to lower levels as well. So some tricky conditions there as we start off the day in the north of Scotland. Elsewhere, drier for the first part of the day, but by the afternoon, more wet and windy weather sweeps in across England, Wales, southern Scotland and Northern Ireland. And as that rain bumps into the cold air further north, we're likely to again see some snow over the higher ground of the southern uplands, the Grampians, perhaps a few flakes over the Pennines. But it's staying mild in the south because we've got this strong southwesterly airflow and it's the winds that are the key feature for southern parts of Britain, England and Wales predominantly, for Tuesday afternoon. It's not really Storm Brendan by this stage, it's another low, but actually, even though it won't be as deep, it's crossing central parts of Britain and so it's likely to bring stronger winds to parts of England and Wales compared to Storm Brendan. And this is a look at the wind gusts, here's the key for Tuesday afternoon and evening. Quite tricky conditions there across much of England and Wales. Around exposed coasts and hills, likely to see 60 or 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Inland, 45 to 55 mile per hour wind gusts. And you can see the timing of it there for Tuesday evening into the southeast of England. And that will be combined with some heavy rainfall, some particularly lively weather there for the evening of Tuesday. And that rain building up, a yellow warning there for rain, as well as the yellow warnings for wind. It's Dorset, Hampshire, uh, that sort of area where we like to see the wettest weather, 20 to 40 millimetres in places. Now, for the start of Wednesday, it's a wet and windy start for East Anglia in the southeast. The rain may take some time to clear, but it does clear eventually. Sunny spells following, further blustery showers and very windy there again for the north and west of Scotland. Gales for exposed coasts and hills. It's blustery everywhere, but the best of the sunshine once the early rain is out of the way is across much of central and eastern England. The showers further north and west, pretty lively. Perhaps even the odd rumble of thunder in the north. Temperatures lowering, but still double figures in the south. A colder day again to come in the north. There's Brendan, it's still hanging around to the north of the UK, but another low turns up for Thursday, bringing more wind and rain, driven by an active jet stream. A dry start for many on Thursday, but it soon turns cloudy and breezy, and then the wet and windy weather sweeps in, particularly windy around Irish Sea coasts, and the rainfall again, heavy at times, virtually everywhere as it moves from west to east, taking much of the day to reach the southeast. And it contains with it mild air, but it's not going to feel particularly pleasant because of the wind and the rain. Fast forward to Friday, that's out of the way. Further blustery showers push into southwestern and then northern Britain. And with colder air in place, snow over the higher ground, hail perhaps to lower levels and a keen gusty breeze. But that could be the last of it, because as we end the working week, interesting things are happening 
elsewhere in the globe. Now this is Wednesday, a flat jet stream picking up areas of low pressure, sending them our way at deep, uh, deep lows forming because of the power of that jet stream. But on Thursday, on the other side of the pond, over to the west of the USA and Canada, well, this is happening. A cold plunge in this area will drive the jet stream south and that will have a ripple effect. If we look forward Thursday and into Friday, that ripple effect starts to amplify the jet stream and you can see how it becomes much more contorted as we approach the weekend. And that's good news if you're fed up with the wind and rain because it will allow high pressure to build in. It will stop sending those lows our way. And with high pressure arriving for the weekend and possibly sticking around for some time, well, it's looking less wet and windy. It will turn colder because we'll have clear skies at night and we'll have a return to overnight frost. But by day, it looks like we'll have plenty of sunny spells forming and wind and rain won't be quite as widespread or as frequent. So promising signs for the end of the week, but so much weather to get through up until then. And you can, of course, keep up to date with all the very latest by following us on social media. Bye bye.